Hi, welcome to this guide for how to produce lots of food and population in um, humankind. So to kind of motivate this, you can see here we were producing, um, I don't know, more than a thousand food and we have um, <clears throat> about, what, 80 or so population and I only have a very small part of this city dedicated to farmers, uh, farmers quarters. So we could grow this to um, like hundreds of population and thousands and thousands and thousands of food if we focused um, or if we kept building this out um, all over the place. So sort of break this down into a bit of an overview of what the, how food works, what um, farmers quarters are, how do they work, how to boost farmers quarters through um, industry and then sort of how to turbocharge your food by picking the various civilizations that are food focused. Um, so starting with sort of food. So what happens here is that um, food is basically used to create population um, and it takes a certain amount of food. Like you can see, it, it takes about a thousand food to maintain 80 population um, every turn. So you sort of have to keep adding more and more food to keep growing your population. If you keep your food the same, then your population isn't going to keep um, growing. So the maybe on the sort of farmers quarters and how they work basically farmers quarters exploit the um tiles around them so you can the tile that they're on as well as the tile around them so um uh, where's a good example here right so you can see that this tile provides two food right so if i put down a farmers quarter here suddenly i start uh, i'm able to capture this now it goes to three because i have various bonuses but um Currently, I'm not capturing this tile, tile's food, but if I put a farmer's quarter here, it captures this tile as well as this tile, right? And it also comes with sort of inherent um, food on top of it, right? So this tile goes, is currently three, and then it goes to 16 um, food, which is quite good. So basically, this gets sort of food from adjacent farmer's quarters. So you'll want to build lots of farmer's quarters next to, next to each other. Um, now the other thing to keep in mind, I only have built a few here, but if you um, want to scale this out, you need to keep building um, lots of these um, common quarters in between um, all the farmers quarters. So um, if you look at the description, there's a linked um, guide for how to keep your city stable, even if you have hundreds of these quarters um, everywhere. Um, so you can see this is at 100% and we just have a huge number of quarters in this city. Um, so take a look in the description just below the like button for um, for that. Now, um, next is sort of we can talk about how to boost the um, production of these farmers quarters through infrastructure. So they're buildings that you can build in your cities. Um, to help boost uh, boost the food production. So for example, these animal barns add food based on um, like horses that I have, which is a very small amount, relatively speaking. They add plus one food to the adjacency bonus of farmers quarters, and they just add a base production um, of food on farmers quarters as well. There are lots of other examples here as well. So the fertilizer plant just gives sort of 10% um, production and you know there's there's more there's probably another one that that can be added here which is just sort of a straight up bonus which is very nice um, then you can also you know there are farmers um, that also produce food so you can boost the amount of um, food they produce for things like granary um, as well as these grain silos and so on and then these industrial silos as well um, and then the other thing, the other kind of infrastructure is that, they, is that it boosts the um, food that you get from tiles. So for example, here it adds an additional two food on, on rivers um, and even two more. Um, or, and you also can get food from, from the harbor, although you're not gonna have it, well, at least I've never found that, that I have like a huge number of harbors. So harbors also sort of exploit the food around them, but um, I don't know, I never, I don't think that it's really worth it. Like this harbor what produces six food whereas you know this one here produces nearly 22 um but anyway so that's sort of how you boost it with infrastructure and then the other thing that you can do um, let's see yeah so you can see that i have sort of 42 food from serfs labor which is actually a 
bonus of the um, English, if I bring up that. And English is one of the civilizations that's sort of agrarian focused. Um, this surf slavery here, which might be a little bit small, but it gives plus seven food per number of attached territories on city or outpost, which is pretty nice. But there are lots of other um, civilizations that provide various bonuses to food. Now, I should add a caveat here. I've never needed like a lot of populations population to make this city really good so for example you can see that this city has 10,000 industry and only 330 of that is actually coming from workers right whereas most of that is actually coming from just um, these makers makers quarters um, I've also linked a guide to um, how to actually build this kind of industry like 10,000 industry cities so you can also see that in the description uh, below but if you look at, for example, um, you know, Thebes, which has sort of 44 population, right, has no farmers quarters in it. I usually just prioritize the farmers in here, they produce a little bit of food and then there are various bonuses that, that you get. Um, but this still has 3000 industry, nearly 2000 science with very, very little population overall in it. Um, so yeah. That sort of, in summary, if you want to boost the food in a um, in a city and the population, you can build farmers' quarters that sort of exploit the terrain around it, um, and also get adjacency bonuses. All of that can be boosted through infrastructure and sort of turbocharged by picking civilizations that are agrarian um, focused. So, thanks for watching, and until next time, bye.